What is up, with me? <coughs> what is up, with me, YouTube viewers? Welcome back to another G uh, to a new video. Today we are going over a little tutorial. So I have been uh, getting requested by people on how to install uh, this certain script that I have been recording for quite some time, and that was LSPDFR. Um, I had my friend Snowflake rec recommend this as well because he's trying to install it, but I haven't gone over it a little bit better. So I feel like but doing this on a YouTube video might make it a little bit easier and a little bit easier for you guys so you guys can download it yourself. So just to confirm that LSPDFR is only a PC mod, so unfortunately you cannot get it on other consoles. Um, you'll need... Um, I don't know what the recommended RAM is, but I think you do need some uh, a good machine of graphics uh, in order for it to work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over how to install LSPDFR. Um, what you require is LSP. Obviously, you need LSPDFR. You'll need Script Hook V, and you'll need OpenIV as well. Obviously, we'll go over that as well in a minute. So first things first, we're going to go over to LSPDFR. I've absolutely uninstalled everything, so then I can show you guys. Uh, go to here. Download. Obviously, just go over the agreement. So, I've already agreed it before. LSPDFR has just literally just been updated, as you can see, updated on Thursday. It's totally up to you or what you want to go for. If you want to go for the manual install, if you want to go for the setup. So, if you just want to do it yourself, do the manual set install. But I would recommend using the setup because then, obviously, it's all done for you. So what we'll do is we'll separate them, so we'll separate this episode, uh, this episode so between manual install and auto install. So we're going to install both, so this bit we're going to do manual install, hopefully it works. Obviously it will work either way, so don't worry. So just open up your setup. Run away, run anyway. Tell it to say yes. We would recommend using the automatic installer because then it makes everything set up for you. Whatever your language is, if you're Dutch, English or French. If you're not English, we'll take it. If you're like from America, you just click English anyway. Welcome to a setup will guide you through the installation of LSPD first response. It is recommended that you close all ap other applications before starting setting up before starting setup. This will make it possible to update your relevant system files without having to reboot your computer. So just go over the agreement again, so obviously we know it, so we will agree. Uh, only uh, The only two that we've got is these two, but because I've got LSPFR as well, we'll need to remove that. Make sure you install your, it's onto your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, so in ours it's, we've got Epic Games. So for you, if it, you're on Steam, so you go to, uh, you'll go to Program Files, x86 steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 and it'll be in there but we are using epic games so for epic games it's program files epic games and gta 5 it'll install into here i'm not sure about rockstar games um so you'll need to have a look into that so we'll click install <coughs> All set up. First time configurator, so we will launch that. Please accept. So show license. I don't think you need script hook fee, but it's recommended that you get. Well, I think you do need script hook fee actually. Sorry. So accept. So now the game knows that we've accepted it. Change settings. We recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all plugins to upload. That's uh, set up. Do it for me. Now it's been installed correctly. So now that's done, that will just close it down for you, and this is how it's going to be. So now it's installed into your into your GTA 5. So this is how it looked like. In order for it to work as well, you need to get rid of Battle Eye as well. So just make sure you get rid of that. So just delete those two. Uh, then we go to plugins. So this is how it looked like. LSPDFR. Then this folder is empty because obviously we haven't installed anything onto it yet. This is how your LSPDF file will look like, so now it should work. So let's go ahead and get script hook v installed. <coughs> so script hook v. Let's 
to download it. We'll open it up. Oh shit. We'll open it up. Go to bin. Then you put all of these into your GTA 5 folder. If you have already have it in, just replace it. But obviously, if you're new to it, you won't need to. No need to replace it. Um, I don't know. I think we, we're going to go ahead and install OpenIV as well. It's not recommended on this bit, but it's my might, might as well just install it just to be safe. Links will be in the description so you guys know um, by step by step, so you don't guys don't get confused. Download now. It says download now. You. Click continue. I accept. Continue. Uh, yeah, run on open IV. Continue. Yes. So that will download it. So using open IV, this is where you can get your vehicles, custom weapon sounds, and stuff installed into the server. So if you want your EUPs installed, then you'll need OpenIV. So let's go ahead and get our Grand Theft Auto 5. So it's already automatically set it up. But if it's not like this, if it's not on the game that you want to use it on, make sure you use it. Go back to the uh, start of the video and I'll explain which one. So we'll click continue. Continue again. There we go. Obviously, my server looks like this already. So we've got vehicles installed. But you need to install the ASI loader. Otherwise, it won't work. So, already install the ASI loader, but make sure you install that. We'll install this and this. Then your LSPDFR should work. So let's go ahead and go into LSPDFR and let's see if we can win it. Just to pre warn you that I have got may have e less vehicles in. Just click yes and then obviously apologies if it is. Let's just go through the plugins, so we've already got SPD first response. Um Just make sure you verify game installation, direct X installed. Oh yeah, you need direct X as well, don't forget to install that. Um, that's about it. Everything else is up to you. So save and launch. Okay. We're now in the LSPFR, so we're gonna go ahead and load it up. Obviously, I was recording. I forgot. I was doing it earlier, but I forgot to record, so I'll have to do it again. So what we're gonna do is go on duty. Obviously, what they usually do is ask you to select a character, and that's like now. So go ahead and select OK. Let's get a character. Obviously, ignore that one because that's a preset character. So create a new character if you want to create your own one. Heritage, so we would go with Michael, I won't miss. That's better. Features. So I went with shallow, I went with standard. And then we went with something else for this one. That's better. We weren't clean shaven, we went with trimmed beard. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Save and continue. I'm gonna call this Zulara Snow. Zulara Snow. We'll use this one. So as soon as you use it, that'll be your character for the whole game. Unless you want to swap characters, then you need to go to the pause menu. So now we're loading in. Police locker. Get your cop outfit on. Variation is officer. Patrol stun. Uh, and obviously it's uh, available gear. You can just make your own gear if you want. So you can put your own gear on. The other options, obviously, you can also um, uh, uh, 
Ah, piss. Put that on if you want to. So that's about it for us. We can put a hat on and the, some glasses. Put these on, that looks cool. There we go. So let's go to the police garage. So obviously your cars won't look um, like custom unless you want a custom car installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with like one of these cars. Uh, we're gonna go with the Stania. So you put extras on if you want extras. Make it slick top. It's entirely up to you. Make modifications, then stick and continue. So if you want a custom car, I will put in some custom cars in to another episode once we've got a less working. So we'll go on duty. So we're just gonna do a random pull over so you guys can see what's gonna happen. First we'd go into the key bindings, so wrong keyboard, but we mainly use a controller. So this is how you know what your key bindings are. Sometimes on your certain scripts you won't find it. So you need to go onto the actual script in order to see it. But we're using controller. But obviously we'll customise it again when we come to another episode. So we're doing a random pull over on someone. Dang it, for the damn key bind. No, I've got the key bind now. Oh there you go. So, we're just going to do a random pullover on this car, just so then you can show you what the traffic stop looks like. Obviously, what we'll do is we'll see what we'll do that one actually. Oh, damn it. So just do a random pullover, just so then I can demonstrate. Whoa. Shut up. Shut up. She is taking so long. This will happen at some times. Who's a good poacher? Hello, ma'am. Greetings. CID, please. Sami Kagwara. Kagwara. Go back to the car so we can use the police computer. Sami Gawa. We got license valid, no active warrants. Obviously, we use um, Stop the Ped and we use Computer Plus by um, what its name. But the links will be in the description, so that's how you do a pullover. We'll just give it a call out. Go ahead and see the force one. Obviously that's how you do LSPFR, so we're not going to go for too long for a call out, so I think it's going to be taking so long. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it there guys, so that's how you install LSPFR. If you guys want a certain uh, tutorial on LSPFR, like certain scripts or stuff, feel free to um, put it in the comments. Don't look at me like that, you twat. Um, just pop it in the link, pop, just pop it in the comments section below what um, script you guys want me to do to cover next on GTA 5. The main one will obviously be vehicles, and I will go over the callout plugins, uh, scripts, and callout plugins for you. Uh, but if there's something certain you want, obviously we'll deal with this guy. Good enough. And there's something we're going to be in pursuit. So, how you report it is you just hold down the right stick. Attention all units, we have a 140 AM in Little Soul. Ow! Uh, we got eyes on the perp. So how are you install? Okay. We're good. Yes, go Suspect is on foot! Freeze! Oh shit, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Do 
can go for a leg shot here. Oh, fuck it! Shot the officer by accident. Sorry, officer. We got you surrounded. So that's how you do a pursuit, obviously, and obviously to pull back up, you just go in for you. Yeah, it wasn't you your lucky day, was it? What happens, if I do, what happens if I do this? Um, what happens if I do this? <laughs> anyway, we're going to end it there, guys. So uh, that's how you install LSPFR and work it correctly. Um, so make sure you guys do uh, back up your GTA 5 files just in case it gets updated randomly. I'll put a link into a Discord uh, in the description so you guys can stay in tune. So... Obviously press F4, so once you've done that and got all your characters sorted, you can enforce duty by doing that. Just by pressing F4 and putting force duty in, and obviously you're going off off duty. The stick can pop off. There you go. <coughs> so, I hope you guys did enjoy that. We'll go over another uh, episode of um, how to install um, vehicles um, once the ELS works. Obviously, when we're installing vehicles, um, it's mainly ELS, but it will cover the non-ELS as well. So, if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care. Peace out.